Hey, what's going on YouTube? I've been playing a lot of Metro Last Light recently and it's been very refreshing to play a game that has been designed with PC hardware in mind because most games are going to be console ports nowadays, but not so with Metro Last Light. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your field of view, how to stop the intro movies from playing, how to dedicate a single GPU to PhysX, how to benchmark your game, and how to turn off aim assist. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to stop the intro movies from playing. So to stop the intro movies from playing, just go to wherever your game is located. It should be under Steam and Programs Files x86 and then Steam Apps, Common, and Metro Last Light. Or it could be in Origin under Program Files, but just delete the file called legal.ogv and the intro video should stop playing. Now this is how you can change your field of view. If you go to your local disk and you go to Users and your user profile, you have to make sure that hidden files are enabled. So you just go to view up here and then click hidden items to show and you will be able to see app data. This is where if you recently patch your game through Steam or Origin or whatever distribution software you use, you should be able to see local app data and 4A games. 4A is the developer of Metro Last Light. So we go over here, Metro Last Light. And in this file, you'll see a user configuration file. If you click here, you should see an option R, yeah, R base field of view, and it's set to 50 at default, and that represents vertical field of view, not horizontal field of view. Most games have an indicator for horizontal field of view, but with Metro Last Light, if you want to have 90 field of view, which is the same as Battlefield and Call of Duty at the maximum field of view level, you should put in 59. I will link a field of view converter in the description so that you can have the proper aspect ratio and scaling based on the field of view that you want. So you can set the field of view to be whatever you want, but the general rule of thumb is that if you sit closer to the screen, you should have a wider field of view. There should be small performance decrements if you set a very high field of view, but it's not a deal breaker. And another option that you can have is to turn off aim assist. If you do not want aim assist for your mouse and keyboard setup, you just have to change this number to zero. It used to be one and just change that to zero to turn off aim assist. So the next thing you can do to optimize your game is to designate a single GPU for PhysX. In my case, I'm using the GT630 and I already have SLI GTX 670s. If you have an SLI setup, just save it as auto recommend instead of designating a single GPU. But if you do have an older GeForce GPU, like an 8 series or above, then you can designate that as a single processor for PhysX. This should add a performance increase, and AMD users used to be able to do this with a driver hack, but AMD has since disabled the ability to do that. Physics is cool in that it adds a lot of particle effects and you can see dynamic destruction, but it's not a deal breaker if you have it off. I do think it's a little bit over glorified, but it does add a very subtle touch of immersion to the game and Metro Last Light is very much about immersion. So the next tool I'm gonna show you is a benchmarking tool. Now this is in the same place as your game file and this allows you to benchmark your game based on whatever settings you want. If you crank everything up to maximum, and run the game through its paces to see how well the game performs. When you run this benchmark, your game is gonna to cut to a very intense segment. Your game is very seldom going to be this intense when you're actually playing, but if you have a graphic setting that performs well during this benchmark, then you should be able to play the entire game with no problem. All right guys, I hope I've been very helpful. Be sure to check the description if you need any other help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.